Jonathan, looking at some of the work going through your machine shop here at Blue Diamond um, Engineering, it's quite vast, it's quite big and quite industrial, isn't it? Is that why you bought this Courier machine? Yeah, definitely. Over the years, we've, we've sold ourselves on being a, a large component machine shop. And you know, we'd like to continue in the same vein, which is why we went for a machine of this size and capacity. What, what's the aim of it? What's it going to do for you? Why did you buy it? Well, it replaced, um, I think it was a 1970s 3 plus 2 axis machine that had a manual uh, rotary head on it. Where now this has got a, an automatic rotary head, I think we're rotating it about 0.02 degrees. So it pretty much gives us the ability to achieve any angle we want. Um, and because we've not got a, we, we no longer need an operator to stand there and cock the head in and that set it. It must have taken hours to do that on different parts, continually resetting the machine. Oh, it did, yes. Yeah. And I mean, because like you say, this can get to point zero two, I think it is. Yeah. So it can get to millions of different positions. Um, but most importantly, I think when it's in those positions, it's pretty rigid, isn't it? Is that, is that your ambition as well, to be able to, to machine parts faster as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, as you can see from what's in the shop at the moment, we do a lot of fabrications which have a tendency to, uh, to vibrate when you've, the more rigid the machine is, the more rigid your setup is, the less tense you've got for vib vibration, the better product you're going to get off the machine. Yeah, because I mean, this RAM, it's like a new concept of machine, isn't it? The structure of it, the stability of it, yeah. even when it's extended like you see at the moment, you can still, uh, there's no compromise in how hard you can hit parts. No. 52 kilowatts of power as well, I believe. Um, why, did, why did you go for Correa over and above the points we've mentioned? Um, over the past year, we've sort of built up a, a good working relationship with DTS. Um, and when they found out that we were looking to replace our old um, 3 plus 2 axis machine, um, their sales rep came on site and proposed this machine. Um, we reviewed its capacity and its specification and we felt that it fitted what we do at Blue Diamond very well and also gave us the ability to sort of expand into other other markets. Yeah, you've got other opportunities as well now, I believe. Did you have a tool changer on your last machine? Or was it a, you know, did you have to change the tools manually as well? It was all manual tool change. Wow, so this must be um, a revelation to the operator. In fact, I was talking to him earlier and he pointed out something to me that he loves, which I, I, I sometimes dismiss, but the access at the back of the machine, you've got that door at the back, like the door at the front, so you can access it front or back, can't you? We do, yes. We, we had a similar thing on the previous machine, but to get to it, you had to remove a panel. So uh, no one really liked doing it. No, I mean, because <laughs> it's important that the accessibility, you've got obviously an open top, so when you're loading parts, you've got your crane here. Yeah. So there's no obstacles in the way, is there, to being able to set the parts? So you can machine them faster, but you can get them on the machine quicker too. Yes. What, what's the experience been like with DTS? Oh, it's been excellent. Um, we, we're your stereotypical um, subcontract machine shop. Um, our clients tend to want the parts the day before they've, uh, they've ordered them. So we can never really afford to have a machine stand still. And if we ever have an issue or need support with something, guaranteed DTS usually on site the next day. Have you seen a difference in the finished product that you're making? i.e. are they coming off the machine quicker um, are you hitting tight because some of the tolerances that I've seen that you need to achieve on some of these big castings almost like a foul isn't there from faces to uh, to certain hole positions that's incredible on such big work oh definitely um, I mean this has given us the ability on large components to achieve positional tolerances of 10 microns um, which is better than a lot of the other bigger machines we've got on site and when the machine came in, Jonathan, did it have a lot of options that, that, that you purchased with it? Was there anything that we, was bought in addition? Um, the machine comes with, um, with through tool coolant on it, with high pressure through tool coolant. Um, and we've obviously got the Renishaw probe as well. And the good thing about the probing on this machine, it's fully supported by DTS. So we're not having to communicate with DTS regarding the function of the machine and then a separate supplier for the function of the probe. Okay, we've heard about how good the machine is and the purchase. How good is Blue Diamond Engineering? What do you do? You've got a lot of competition up here. Um, yeah, definitely. Well, like I said, 
We, uh, we're not one for sh to shy away from, uh, from a challenging job, but we've got the skills and the expertise here to, to do that. Um, the industries that we typically serve are the machine build, steel making, oil and gas, aerospace, automotive, um, and with these two new machines, the DMG and the Courier, it's going to open up new industries such as the medical sector and then um, mall tools.